what are actual plays? There's a lot of conversations going around the community at the moment about what they really are, so let's dive into it. Hi, my name's Lucas. I've been doing actual plays for well over five years. I have a number of completed campaigns, and I'm going to explain to you what exactly actual plays are. Now, actual plays are supposed to be shows where they revolve around people actually playing TTRPGs, and a lot of people love or hate them. They generally have a lot of people who are voice actors to just random people who are online recording their sessions and putting them out there. The biggest thing to remember is an actual play is a show. Now you're thinking, but I'm just recording my game with my friends at the table. If you've edited it, if you've added music, sound effects, anything, if there's production value to this, it has moved away from you just doing a raw documentary style, you know, recording of your game to being a show. Now that we got that out of the way, actual plays are shows where you take your sessions, you take your whole games, your campaigns, one shots, what have you, you edit them down to a more manageable, listenable thing. With actual plays, a lot more people will focus on the story because that's much more interesting media to consume. When you are playing TTRPGs, you're interested in more of the mechanics. You actually want to go through all the little nitty bitty grits of what a TTRPG is. If you're listening to an actual play, that's boring as shit. So you want to hear what's going on with the story, how things are going. So you're going to cut out a little bit here and there, looking up rules, maybe sitting there doing two years of math, just all that little stuff that would be pretty monotonous for somebody to listen to, you would remove in an actual play. Because there is a focus on story rather than maybe the combat or the hardcore mechanics of TTRPGs, a lot of people will feel that actual plays are bad representations of TTRPGs, right? They're saying, hey, this isn't what it's really like. And that's fair. They're not an accurate representation of what it entirely is like playing a TTRPG. The best example I could think of is, let's say you really love anime. You've been watching anime for years. It is a good time. You feel like you have a pretty good understanding of it. You don't know Japan. You understand a little bit about Japan. You understand some core concepts, but you don't know Japan. You don't know Japanese culture. You would have to go there, live it, experience it. Same thing with actual plays. You can listen to a bunch of actual plays and really enjoy it, but you'd have to play the TTRPG to really understand the TTRPG. Now that's not to say you can't learn to play a TTRPG from an actual play. A lot of people do. I know a lot of people will actually listen to an actual play first of said TTRPG to get a feel of it to see is this really something that I want to get into? It is safe to say that because of the explosion of actual plays, which were the very big ones are fueled by a lot of money from bigger corporations and actors who are quite wealthy, that allowed TTRPGs to grow as much as they have today. Now, TTRPGs have always been around for a long time, you know, since the 70s, 80s, that kind of thing, but they definitely had a huge boost in the PR and marketing department due to these shows. So yeah, there's a basic idea of what an actual play is. It is somebody recording their sessions with everybody there. You're boiling it down and creating a show. Some are run by very large companies with lots of money. Some are run just for free by people who want to do it. Like myself, I've been doing it for over five years. I have not made much money off of it, but I'm doing it because it is a true joy to do. I hope this helped you understand a little bit of what actual plays are. I'm going to be making a few more videos diving into the whole rigmarole behind them so you can understand a little bit more of what it's like creating actual plays, running actual plays, and how they differ from running just a straight up TTRPG game with your friends at the table, but they aren't too far from it.